Hi there everyone, welcome back again in another video of PTC Creo Parametric Tutorial. In this video, we will try to understand the difference between helical sweep and volume helical sweep. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now here you can see I am in my computer screen and I already have opened one model in PTC Creo Parametric Environment. And you might have seen this model I have used in case of volume helical sweep. Now what I'm going to do here is let me actually create another plane. And let's increase its distance to 30. And now let's hit OK. And now uh, let's actually place this plane before these extrudes so that I can actually mirror group and mirror this entity here. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create volume helical sweep and normal sweep so that uh, we can understand the difference between both. So let's start with normal sweep and this I'm going to do a uh, very quick and uh, for your information the dia here is 8 mm. So let me quickly you know create a center line here and then a profile. Let's start from here and end here. Okay, and let's make this length as 18 mm and let's hit OK. Now we need to create a section here and let me actually create the circular section. Okay, let's make this value as 1.25 and let's click on OK. Let's make this pitch also 1.25 and let's make a remove material okay and okay so here we can see it is creating a problem so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna either reduce the size of the dia or i can make the pitch size as 1.255 now in this case i would like to remove material and there we go here we can see we can remove material here now um, you can see how it looks and feel. Now let me create volumetric helical sweep here. So let me select volume helical sweep. Now let's click here on define to create helix profile. And let's click sketch. Now here as well let me quickly define the center line. And then uh, the line that is very similar to the line that we already have created. Now let's click OK and now let's click on section create section and unlike helical sweep here we need to make sure that we create section in only one direction and here actually i can keep it 1.25 and let me keep the section in one direction only and let's click ok and let's here i believe i should not face any problem in keeping the same pitch okay so here also we we are seeing some issue I'm gonna also make this as 1.225 okay 1.3 okay 1.28 and there we go guys now here let me actually reduce the difference between both by reducing the distance of this plane let's make it 10 and now we can actually analyze both side by side. Okay, so let me also remove plane display and let's also color them. Okay, so here if we see on the right hand side with this golden color is the normal sweep. And let me actually make it shading with edges. And here you can see in case of helical sweep, it simply used this cross section which was round and simply create this helical sweep across the whole profile. And then here also you can see how this got ended which is practically not feasible if we are using let's say CNC turning to perform this operation. However, if you see this one, we also have taken similar size of circle but since this one is revolved 
here you can see the starting point of this ball so basically it represents the tool profile that's why guys here in start we can see the clear difference between helical sweep and volume helical sweep the volume helical sweep looks more feasible as the profile that we created here basically revolve around the axis and then it start removing material and here also we can see the difference it looks quite feasible let's consider we are using a kind of cutter so that cutter will actually leave this kind of impression in the end however in case of helical sweep it looks quite impractical so basically what i am saying is that this profile here that we have created it revolve round along this axis and that's how guys we are getting a feasible result however in case of helical profile we are simply sweeping this 2d profile along this helix so this is a very basic yet a very important difference between helical sweep and volume helical sweep i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to this channel for more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye